Hello everyone, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink. Welcome back to more Christmas projects. So for today's video, I am going to show how to assemble the Honeybee gift card present box honey cuts dies. Had a lot of requests to show the steps for this. And this is definitely one of those ones where you first look at it and it doesn't quite make sense. And then the minute you see it come together, it becomes so simple. <laughs> I was so confused when I first saw it. And then once you put it together, it's like, this is the coolest thing ever. So I laid out all the wafer dies that come in the set and then I've die cut all the pieces. So you die cut um, the base and then there is just a simple square and then there's toppers and different uh, topper and a sort of a long slider piece. So I am die cutting everything from cardstock and pattern paper and then all these pieces off on the left are all the pieces to create basically the ribbon that goes on the box and the bow. So I will get to those in a minute. Now with this, you don't have to do cardstock and pattern paper. I just chose to because I like the cardstock, but then I want the pattern paper and it just gives it that extra weight. You could do the whole thing in pattern paper and it'd be fine. I just like the extra, you know, durability of the cardstock and then just adhering the pattern paper on top. So the base of this, I've just die cut from some green cardstock and it die cuts these funny little flaps all on the sides. And I reinforced the score lines that the die will imprint the score lines onto the cardstock. I just reinforced it with my little tonic um, card creaser just to make it uh, fold a little easier because it is heavyweight cardstock. And then I'm going to apply adhesive to all of these flaps. You could use liquid adhesive, you just gotta be very careful because you don't obviously wanna get any glue on the inside of this. Um, what works perfectly is score tape. I'm using 1 8 inch score tape and I'm just going around and applying it to all the flaps. So there's three large flaps and then the one side, which is actually gonna be the top, has two very small partial little flaps. So you want adhesive on those as well. So once I've got the score tape applied, it's just a matter of peeling off the backing which I always struggle with. <laughs> the backing technically peels off because like score tape tears so easily and the backing comes off, but my nails are so stubby that I just, I struggle. But peel off all of that backing to expose all of that adhesive. And then this is where you could adhere just the pattern paper or whatever you've chosen to be the front of your gift card box. Now I'm gonna again use cardstock because I like the weight. I like to use heavyweight cardstock, same as with my cards, etc. I like the heavier weight and just the quality of it. So I've got my green square that I die cut and this just gets it here on top. And I found the easiest way to do this is just to line them up side by side, press over one flap and then just fold this over and then just press all those little, make sure all those little flaps are folded in with the exposed adhesive and press it down. So now basically the two sides and the bottom of this are completely sealed. And then in the top of the gift card box, there's that opening. So that's where you will be sliding the gift card mechanism. So first I'm going to adhere my chosen pattern paper. This is from the Honey Bee Holiday Traditions 6x6 pack. So I chose, you know, Christmassy pattern paper, of course. So I'm going to adhere that. I die cut it with that same square wafer die in the set. So I die cut that and then I adhered it right on top. So now, you know, I've got some pattern going on on my little gift card box. And then I have the long rectangle that's at the top of the screen there. That is gonna be the gift card part. There's another rectangle wafer die, the one that I am scoring right now, that die cuts a smaller rectangle with a little bit of a score line down the center of it. This is the topper, like the, the basically the box lid. So I had die cut this from cardstock and pattern paper again. Again, you could use just the pattern paper or just cardstock. It doesn't need to be both. I am just making things more difficult basically. <laughs> but I just like, again, I just like the weight. So I reinforce the score line down the middle again, just to make things fold a little bit better. Also helps minimize as much as possible the cracking. And then I adhere the pattern paper to the cardstock and then just fold that over. And that will be the top of this gift card present box. So now we're getting into the actual like it's not even really a mechanism. It's just that long rectangle at the top. So I had die cut that from green cardstock. This is what's going to hold the gift card, just like I show. And this is what's gonna slide on the inside of this 
uh, present box. So you could just die cut it once, stick a gift card on it, stick the topper on it like so, be done. You know, decorate it, do whatever you want, this works. But a cool thing they've added in this die set is there is a gift card sized wafer die. And the point of that is to cut windows in the long rectangle. And I did this three times. So I die cut three pieces of cardstock with the long rectangle. And then I cut a window from those three pieces with that other rectangle die that's the same size as a gift card. So I'm going to stack these on top of the solid rectangle and this will all make sense in a minute. This is what also really confused me because I was like I don't I didn't understand the gift card sized wafer die. I was like are you going to die cut your own gift card or <laughs> although you could do that too. You could you know create your own little like pretend gift card and give somebody cash because sometimes that's just way more convenient anyway but I digress. So I'm stacking these three layers together and this time I'm using just craft tacky glue liquid adhesive and stacking these three pieces on top of the um, long solid rectangle so that it's creating kind of an basically a impression on the inside that is the exact same size as a gift card and the beauty of this is if you are using heavyweight cardstock like this you'll have to figure out like if you're not using this is 100 pound cardstock um, you'll have to figure out like how many layers you would need to make this work but this will hold the gift card perfectly and it's basically flush with that so you don't have to adhere the gift card it just can pop right out so the mechanism slides in and out of the gift card box really really easily holding the gift card so you don't have to put any glue on the gift card anything it just holds it in place i just i think that's brilliant i love that so once that's adhered all you need to do now is to adhere the gift card box top to the holder of the gift card. So again, you could use score tape for this, whatever strong adhesive. I'm just using liquid adhesive again, making sure to only apply it to the top areas because you don't want to glue the lid to the actual box because then it's not going to work properly. And then because I'm like adhering something to something that was already like four layers of cardstock, you know, deep, um, I'm going to apply a lot of pressure, hold it really well until that glue has a chance to, you know, really fuse together. And then once that's done, the essential gift, like the gift card present box is adhered. So now you can choose how you want to decorate this because of course you could do whatever you want. I'm going to use the wafer dies from the set to create the ribbon and bow portion. And those I had die cut from Tonics, um, Ruby, Gemstone. This is cotton paper. It's actually really, really soft and really flexible, which is really nice for something like this because it's going to be very dimensional. And it's also just gorgeous, like the texture and the metallic, oh, love. So the long, thin rectangle gets adhered to the base of the gift card present box. There's a smaller little rectangle. This gets adhered to the um, lid of the box. So it looks like, you know, it's been wrapped with ribbon. And then we've got the large bow portion. And this comes together really easily too. You just apply a little bit of adhesive to the end fold it over and then repeat with the other end and that creates a quick and easy bow. So once that's adhered, there is one more little rectangle and this one has score lines in it as well. So that differentiates it from the other little rectangle. This one is meant to wrap around the bow to finish it off. So again, apply a little bit of adhesive, wrap that around and pinched it till the um, glue fused together. And I've got the bow. And then for the tails, again, there's a little score line in here. So you can just fold it over and adhere it. But because I'm using this type of cardstock, the back of it is black. If it's just standard color cardstock, you can just fold it over, adhere it, you're done. But with this, I cut it, you know, right down the middle, cut it in half so that I could place the tails right side up. And then I'm making sure to adhere them only to the top portion because again, you don't want to glue this closed. So I'm just applying adhesive to the very top portions of the tails of this bow and then I'm going to adhere the bow and that's it. This is done. Like once it all comes together, it's such a fun way to present a gift card. I just, I love this. I think it's so pretty. So after I got this adhered, I am going to add a little bit more personalization. Obviously you can go all out, you know, pattern papers and embellishments and all those fun little things the sky is the limit but i'm keeping mine a little bit simpler i'm using stamps from the one-of-a-kind stamp set 
And I actually created my own little tag using the door wafer die from the Gingerbread House add-on Honeycuts dies. You can just cut a little rectangle of cardstock, use whatever you've got, not a big deal. But I saw that and I was like, it's perfect. <laughs> so I die cut that from white cardstock and then I built my sentiments using the one of a kind stamp set. So it'll say, pull here, look inside. And then I added the little arrow to it as well, just to give, you know, the direction of this is how this works. So people actually open it to see the gift card. So once I got all the stamps lined up, I'm gonna stamp them onto these tags with uh, VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. And I'm making multiple tags. Um, the next video will show the stocking gift card holder. because I was getting requests for that. I decided to do it as a separate video just to, for, you know, convenience sake for everyone so that it's not one long video that people have to hunt through. You can just check out which video you're interested in. So that will be the one right after this. So after I did the tags, I also took, I actually just took the green cardstock that was left over from die cutting all those windows. And I'm using my anti-static powder tool on it. And I actually only ended up needing to use two pieces. I'm gonna stamp another sentiment from the one of a kind stamp set onto these with clear embossing ink. And then I'm gonna heat emboss these with some detail white embossing powder. And this one will say a special little something for someone special. So I'm gonna stamp this a few times on there, coat all these with that detail white embossing powder, tap off the excess, and then I can melt these with my heat tool. And then once these are melted, there's actually a little coordinating die, the one of a kind stamp set, there's a coordinating die set, and there's a wafer die that will cut out this specific sentiment. So I'm gonna die cut these sentiments with that coordinating wafer die, and then I can get to actually assembling um, the little additional add-on to the gift card present box. So once those are all melted, cooled off for a few seconds, I can run them through my die cut machine with a coordinating wafer die. And then I'm going to adhere these to the gift card present boxes with um, some thin 3D foam squares, just to give it that little extra bit of dimension. So I'm gonna pop that into place. And then I decided for the little pull here tag, rather than adhere it or like try to tie it onto the box, I decided to just kind of tuck it in under the bow with more little 3D foam squares. So yeah, just stuck them in there, pressed it into place so you can see the direction and it's good to go. So I did that with both of the gift card boxes I created. Both were using the same pattern paper pack and then same embellishments and whatnot. And then, like I said, um, there will be a video after this showing how to make the stocking gift card holder. So there will be links below this video to the blog post. There'll be um, a supply list with a list of all the supplies I used. So you can check that out below if you are interested. With these, of course, you can also write there's a place to write to the recipient on the back with a personal message. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.